वट इज अ टोकन रिंग अ टोकन रिंग नेटवर्क इज अ लैंड टोपोलॉजी दैट सेंड्स डेटा थ्रू आउट अ स्पेसिफाइड नंबर ऑफ लोकेशन यूजिंग अ टोकन इट वॉज डेवलप्ड बाई आई बी एम इन नाइनटीन एटीज एज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव फॉर ईथरनेट बट वी ऑल नो ईथरनेट वन इन दिस कॉम्पिटिशन Token ring is basically a ring topology where empty tokens are circulated in the ring continuously. Just like a ring topology, all the devices are connected to each other in a format of a ring and empty tokens are passed continuously in that ring. These empty tokens has three fields SFD, AC and ED. SFD is start frame delimiter AC is access control and ED is end delimiter. Now, if one workstation wants to send data to another, he will attach his data along with the token frame, and this will be converted to a data frame. Data frame includes seven fields. They are SFD, AC, FC, DA, SA, data, CRC, ED, and FS. So what are the uses of all these fields in the data frame? Let's see. SFT alerts each station for the arrival of token or start of the frame. It is used to synchronize clock. It indicates the start of the frame and it is represented in hexadecimal. SFT is of one byte. Next we have is access control. It contains priority bits, token bits, monitor bits and reservation bits the ac fields are represented as tpp tm rrr where the p bits are the priority bits t bits identify whether the frame is a token or a data frame m indicates the monitor bit and rrr specifies the reservation bit access control field is also of one byte priority bits and reservation bits helps in implementing the priorities so if a data frame has higher priority than another data frame so the frame with higher priority is selected and move forward token bit is used to indicate the presence of token frame if token bit is 1 it contains the token and if not it does not contains the token the active monitor is a device on the ring that maintains the ring The monitor bit helps in solving the orphan packet problem. It is covered by CRC as monitor a uh, powerful machines which recalculate CRC when modifying monitor bit. If monitor bit is 1, it is checked by the monitor and if not, it is not checked by the monitor. Next we have is frame control. In frame control, first two bits indicates whether the frame contains data or control information it basically indicates which type of frame is arriving fc is also of one byte next we have is da and sa that is destination address and source address these fields consist of two 6 byte fields which is used to indicate mac address of source and destination next we have is data field Data length can vary from zero to maximum THT, that is token holding time, according to the token reservation strategy adopted. Token ring imposes no lower bound on size of data, that is an advantage over Ethernet. Next we have is CRC, that is cyclic redundancy check, a 32-bit CRC which is used to check for errors in the frame, that is whether the frame is corrupted or not. and if the frame is corrupted then that frame will be discarded next is ed that is end delimiter it is used to mark the end of the frame in ethernet length field is used for this purpose it also contains bits to indicate a damaged frame and identify the frame that is the last in the logical sequence this is the only work of ed and the last field is fs that is frame status it is also of one byte it makes use of two copies of ac bits that are used as an error detection mechanism 
as CRC does not cover FS bytes, so the destination does not have to recalculate CRC when modifying ACs. So what it basically does is that it will uh, inform the source that data has been received successfully. Consider an example where we have six workstations that are connected in the token ring. Workstation A wants to send data to workstation E. So as they are connected in token ring, empty tokens are circulating in that ring. So when A decides to send data to E, it will add its data into that uh, empty frame and make it a data frame and it will pass along in that ring. Now this data frame will have all the seven fields that we have discussed earlier including the source address of A and destination address of E. Now this data frame will be circulated in the ring and as it reaches the workstation E, workstation E will copy the data sent by A and it will update the frame status and will send back in the ring. So as it reaches the workstation A, a will be known that data is received by E successfully. Once the confirmation is reached to workstation A, A will empty the token and it will circulate back in the ring. Here are some advantages of token ring. It does not cause us any collision. It allows larger frame size than Ethernet. It is also faster than Ethernet but it's expensive. IBM literally charged 5 to 6 times more than Ethernet. This was the only reason it was failed. And another reason is that if data transmission is going on between workstations A and E, and if B wants to send data to E, it will have to wait. So, this was all about token ring. Thank you for watching.